and you watch this back, I think your Widow played perfectly fine. I think your Mercy was playing perfectly fine. I think your supports are playing perfectly fine. It felt like your team was playing fine. You were playing fine, but there were mistakes that were made across the board sometimes that led to longer a longer game, and we could see that right in front of us. All right, so today's video, we're going to be doing a Where Are They Now? For anybody new to the Where Are They Now? series, this is somebody that we have spectated before in the past. Sometimes it's three months, six months, even a year at this point. And what we do is we see how they're playing now, and then at the end of it, we try to see where they are now by guessing where their rank's at, too. So not only do we see if they've improved, we also get to see and guess what their rank is, which is always super fun. So uh, just to give them a recap, this tank player previously blamed their teammates for making games more difficult and longer than they should have been. It turns out that wasn't the case, and they were the one overcommitting to chase enemies down in their backline. So in the new description, they say that when they submitted a code a few months ago, it says, you taught me how to adjust to how your team is playing instead of wanting them to adjust to you. This was a really close game, and at first I thought we were going to get steamrolled. I have one huge issue, which is not knowing how to play against Azaria, and because of that, we almost didn't even cap first point. I think I played pretty well and we had some good plays, but I also feel like I made some big mistakes. Hopefully, I've improved since the last time you spectated me and hope you have an amazing day. Let's see what happens and, and kind of go from there. Here we go. All right, quite the start here of the not playing the game. All right, perfect. What was their rank before? I, uh, they used to be, um, I think it was silver, if I'm correct. They used to be silver two. I forgot about that part, silver two. Okay, first step to fighting against Azaria. Don't do this. Stop. No. No, 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 no. 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 Angle. 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 Look at your HP. Look at the purple. You're, look. Angles. A they, like, like, to the left. If Zarya overcommits now, now I just... Right? Yeah, there you go. Like, you just did. But, like, without the overpeaking part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Zarya still might go down there, though, because your teammates are doing a good job. Like, no, 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 no. There you go. Like that, like that, but the whole time. Like that, but no, 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 no! Also, get a health pack in that situation. You know they're all high ground? Go main to get the health pack. The health pack. Yep, going for the Kiriko's the correct play. You're going to force other cooldowns on the, on the point. There you go, there it is. Now you know where they went, because it's already dropped down. Soldier's the next target because the Moria's gonna have one more set of cooldowns. Okay, so I, I'm gonna pause for a second because you mentioned like the battle against Zarya, how you felt like it was a struggle at times. What you did wrong against the Zarya was that you kept trying to face tank. And I think a lot of tanks are doing this right now, including myself. You have like this time when you had in like season eight where your supports would keep you alive. But like, you gotta remember now, when you have a DPS just shooting you even for one bullet, even if it's accidental, and especially with the increased hitbox change now, you have 15% less healing, right? If you have 15% less healing and you constantly keep repeaking, your supports will never be able to catch back up on you. And, and a lot of the problem with tanking right now in season nine and, and going into season 10, because we don't think there's gonna be many changes, is that like you are playing this old style of take a bunch of damage, get healed up for 50%, peak again. Next thing you know, you're out of your suit and you get DMAX. So we just... As much as it sucks sometimes, you have to basically be patient and just play hide and seek. And I know that it's not the ideal tank play style, and hopefully there'll be like some slight improvements on that side of things, but a lot of the time you have to play the hide and seek style. So shoot at the Zarya, lose 300 HP, hide, get healed up fully, re-peak a little bit, do a little bit of damage, count bubbles, hide, rinse and repeat, and then you'll have a better job against the Zarya. But if you keep face tanking, then you'll just eventually get grinded down, and that's what kind of happened. And then you didn't get the health pack, which made your supports have to put even more resources into you. Winston swap, don't mind this one bit. Good against the Zarya. And the Sojourn, so. Pay attention for Sojourn's cooldown, so that when you uh, jump them, they don't just go away, or jump, or, you know, slide. There you go, like that. Now you can see that they slid away. Be careful, don't overpeak this. Once again, goes back to what I was talking about. You have to play hide and seek. Nope, 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 nope. All right, there it is again, yep. Eh, not a bad jump now, you're good. Your teammate got a good pick on his Widow, you're fine now. Now you can be aggressive if you want to. Also, don't, do, um, uh, something you're doing, and it's pretty apparent, and chat might know where I'm going with this one, stop jumping, like, to the skybox. Take angles with your jump. Make your jumps, like, the higher up you make your jump, unless you're doing some, like, crazy, like, distraction play with, like, a somber EMP to combo, 
Stop doing that. You gotta, you gotta kind of take more of like a, like a, a better angle when you're, when you're doing that. Otherwise, you're gonna get consistently rolled. At, at least in, in how I'm seeing things. Okay, here we go. Never understood why Winston is good at Zarya because the bubble blocks off a lot of Zarya's damage and prevents you, um, a lot of the Zarya from being able to get charged. So it just, it makes it hard for Zarya to get through your bubble. It takes a while to get through. It's the same reason why Zarya struggles against Ryan. Also, you're overcommitting again. It's the same reason why Ryan, um, or sorry, it struggles against Ryan, because you have to get to the shield to be able to get that full value. So if you have a hero that constantly is doing damage to you and putting a bubble down, you're going to get rolled. You're not rolled, but you're going to lose a lot of that value. By the way, the reason why you're struggling here is because you're literally just diving in, you're taking high dives, and you're not letting your health reset. You need to play that smarter. Straight up. Kind of goes back to what we talked about, like, you don't need to overcommit to their team. And that's what you're doing. You're overcommitting sometimes when you don't need to. Jump top left, top left, top left, top left. Medieval Biscuit, thank you for the 16 months of tier 1, thank you, appreciate it. Now chat's going, why top left? Why, why right here? Because you're going to take map control now. Do you see what you're doing? You're getting, you're, you're gaining a distance to be able to set up a good dive. That's a good dive right there. Why? Because they're engaging already, you have a good timing, and you went from a good dive spot. Do you see how that's a much better dive than just jumping in straight up into the air 16,000 feet up? You see what I'm saying? That right there is a much better way to go about it and to play the game than, this, than to do that. So that's why that was a good job taking map control. Sometimes it takes... Sometimes it takes two dives to get the good dive, right? Sometimes it, it, it's setup time. A lot of Winston play is setup time. Like right now, you want to be top left again. Why? Because you can drop down and engage them without having to, to use your jump if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? So like that, that's how you want to do that, and that's why it's such a good way to play. Like a, like a Winston like that is because the, the, the less that you have to like jump high into the air to, or make it obvious you're making a play, the better. Even against a Reaper here, you're fine. You don't even need to overcommit because the Reaper has to push into you and be at an off angle of your teammates. I wouldn't overcommit to the Reaper in the stairs because your teammates can't help you there. I would look elsewhere and see what they have. Even if you plan on, yeah, you, I, I feel like that's just unnecessary damage against the Reaper. I know nothing happens, but like that unnecessary damage is what leads to you losing a team fight or a forced ultimate too early. See? Um. Okay, so you're gonna get the Alim, which is miraculous. But I, I, I need you to to have have something in mind when you're playing your Winston out there. There is zero reason to really just commit to that Moira. I know you got the Elimin Moira, but like you had plenty of time to go back and revisit that play. I, I feel like the ult could have been bringing you value elsewhere. Um, be careful, this Reaper will destroy you if you sit here and try to... Yeah, yeah. Okay, well. Yep. That was something. I'm seeing some good plays, and I'm seeing some bad plays, which I guess is better than just seeing only bad plays, right? You know what I'm saying? I think it was okay here. I don't mind this pick. Shield. That shield needs to be a little bit sooner. I know they have the follow-up of the Moira, but, like, your shield just needs to be the, the, the block there. I don't know what their current rank is. I know what their previous rank was because we did a video... Uh, this is the Where Are They Now series, where, like, we look at where they're at now and try to guess. Plenty of time in this game to come back, though, so we'll see what happens. What are you starting on? Winston on first point is a totally fine pick, by the way. No problem with this pick at all. But obviously, it's at 12. So about two and a half hours, we'll watch the matches. We always have a good time with that. Wait for it. You can dive that Sojourn if you want. Okay, so I already see one problem you're having. Because you said that like you don't know what to do against Azaria here. Can I ask you a question? Why are you trying to face tank Azaria top left as Winston? Like, you now know that most of their team's there. You want to take like a... You want to take like a, a top left dive on them. Like from over here, yeah. You don't want to just go... You're not playing Reinhardt. You don't want to face tank up there. You're not going to get much value there. Like, you're going to get some cleave damage, but like... You come from this angle. Have your teammates... This is where you want to time this. Like, have your teammates go top left. And I know it's like... I don't know what rank it's in. But, like... It's... A, it, these type of plays you can still kind of do. It's just... Some people go upstairs. Some people go right side. Play angles. Take top left eventually. Win, win the round. Or at least give yourself good control. But, like, the first, like... You basically spent a minute just wasting your time up there. And just fed them all turn. And that becomes a part of the problem. Do you see what I'm saying? Stop diving the Reaper. Stop diving the Reaper. Soft dive. Soft dive point if you want to do something different. There you go. This is actually not a bad play. This right here is a, not a bad play. Good job. Now you might... There you go. Good. I, I am okay with that whole sequence. That whole sequence you just did, I am totally fine with. 
Not bad at all. I, I didn't mind that one bit. Nice job. You want to dive the Reaper? Hey, that's up to you. If you want to dive the Reaper, dive the Reaper. Or you have your Hanzo headshot him. And, and a little bit of a tip for anybody learning Winston ult. If you uh, recently saw my video where I, I played my worst tank at the time, or one of my worst tanks, which happened to be Winston. When it comes to your ultimate, I want you to practice understanding the range. I think a lot of players get try to get way too close and accurate with like their with their Winston like ultimate when in reality you have like quite a like a forgiven range and the more I realize that the better my Winston else got so was the bubble before jump uh useful at uh, the only time it's really useful in that situation is if it helps your teammates I didn't I'm gonna be honest with you I didn't really watch the whole sequence so my guess is probably not but I'm you know I'm, I, I I don't know good job looking for the Kiriko here good job I'm not gonna by the way if you get into a close range scenario like that you can do a like a like a a really short dive, so what you do is you just hold your back button as you jump, and you'll go like two feet, and you'll heal one down. Getting the right idea, though. I mean, this is still fine. Also, uh, for people um, who like Winston and haven't really adjusted the new right click, the right click now has a really long range, so you can do a lot more like early damage as Winston than you could before. So don't be afraid to use that right click to charge up, because like it is, it's like a sniper now. Isn't it like 40 meters or something ridiculous? Like you have a lot more range than that Winston right click now. When you feel like you're doing nothing. Maybe it's 30 meters. It's something like super far. Yeah, it's like 40 meters. Yeah, it's like really far. Like. Does that mean here? Welcome. I'm doing, I'm doing well. How about you? Be careful here. I see what you're going for. Just be careful of not getting your ultimate here. I would dive back right now. Or, or, oh no, never mind. That was a vortex. That, that wasn't the. Oh wait, that wasn't their dive. That's what happens when a vortex is thrown down. I say you go for this. I think you win this. I think this is definitely worth going for because they're gonna try to. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Nice job. Go for the cast now. Poop into the team. Oh, what a hinder! Isn't this great? Yep. I mean, at least you almost had fun, right? I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was just like... I still like your all time in there, though. I felt like that was very winnable, so making the decision to go and be aggressive there, I, I was totally fine with it. I have zero problems with that one. So whenever there's a good Winston in your games, they're always on the enemy team. Are you playing Winston on your team? Alright, okay. That was a tough one. Don't be afraid to swap now. Good swap. Chris is good here. No issues with this. Here we go. Nice. But good job, actually. You might actually be able to get an limb here. Wonderful. That's isn't it, isn't it tanking great sometimes. Oh, what a sleep. The javelin? I'm very, very happy with seeing some of the, the, the mechanics here. Probably gotten a lot better in that sense, too. Nice, good javelins. Huge. <laughs> I mean, good hero swap. Good play. Nice job. I, 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 I mean, honestly, like, I feel like you kind of had the right idea there. You didn't overcommit. You, you played a lot smarter than you had previously in the past with stuff. Like, uh, truthfully, I don't, I don't have any issue with that one. Had to swap tank three times. D honestly, sometimes tank is that grind. By the way, like sometimes tank now is just that grind of trying to find a tank that will work because tank is just is struggling. I mean, that's yeah, tank struggles.
Nice job. Good take this time. Much better take, much better hero selection. That was a good job. Kazarian Reaper, sometimes you can you can you can beat direct counters when you just play it well, right? When you just make a good play, and that was a good, aggressive, just like confident play, and it worked out. Like that sometimes is just like it's good to have that, right? You got the point right away, like much better. We're, you know what we're going to do? We're going to pretend you were staggering the Reaper there. Great job. Excellent staggering of that Reaper. You you played that perfect. That's what we'll go with, right? Nice javelin. Be careful. Hide, 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 hide. Wait, wait, go. Wait, 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 wait. Keep waiting. Okay, you're fine now. You're good. Oh, the Reaper's back. We saw what happened last time. Minimize your random javelin sp uh, spins. By the way, that Reaper didn't just teleport into the Abyss. They're right there. Dude, you know what? You know what? I, I'm going to be honest with you, chat. I, I still feel like, and maybe it's just me, but I feel like a lot of tanks are starting to use their cooldowns way worse now because, like, the moment you take, like, one bit of damage as a tank, you're like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna fall over in a minute. I'm gonna fall over in a minute. I'm gonna fall over. I need to do- I need to use this. And then, like, you just use it because you feel like you have to because you just take so much damage as a tank that you're almost predicting you're gonna get one shot, but then, like, nothing happens and you're just like, oh. Like, that's why you have to do that is because you feel like you're gonna get rolled. Like, it feels like that's where tank's at right now. Go for a javelin on the, um, Moira? Nice play in the Zen, actually. Good, good target selection there. Chat, chat, we might, you might laugh at that ultimate. I don't mind that all one bit. I think giving yourself survivability guarantee and the point is going to be way better than going for the perfect ult right now. I'm okay with that. Is it, was it a good ult? Like, I'm not going to say it was a good ult, but I'm not going to say it was, like, terrible either. You can use gold to get out of that, by the way. You want to not be in the grab and make sure you're on point. Okay. Um, at this point, just keep doing what you're doing. Try to save your, your javelin spin. But overall, I mean, I will say mechanically, we've seen a lot of progress, which has been nice. I think that spare in Zenyatta was accidental. Nope, every spare that you do is uh, Arista that hits is totally on purpose and was super accurate. Careful of turning your back to their team, but I'll give you this for now. Play smart here. Play, 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 play like an angle. Play an angle. Play an angle for a second. You you don't have to overpush this yet. You don't. You don't have to overpush this. Stay. They just. Just hide. I'm telling you right now. You got to be patient here. These are the situations where you need to be patient as a tank. You're doing a good job of doing damage. Your teammates are keeping you up. Now you can be a little bit more aggressive now because you got them to a spot that's advantageous for you. Javelin spin this. Then Yad is your target. Nice. Look for Bastion next. Look for Bastion next. Look for Bastion next. Look for Bastion next. Look for Bastion. There you go. Perfect. Alt the point. Just stay on the point with that ult, 500%. They're going to go into it somehow. There it is. Ball went into it. Try to javelin spin the ball off the point. Nope. Okay. Moira has a good ultimate, though. Yeah, that Wrecker Ball isn't on your team because it's, uh, it's roll queue. okay with the gold because you're going to win the team fight more than likely so you're just making sure that you get off the cart wonderful job there that was great all right let's get the music going Could have easily touched the point. What I will say is in those situations, by the way, I want you to be a little bit like, like you can use your javelin spin a little bit more aggressively there to like prevent them from getting on the point, to get Bob off the point, to displace people. You spent a bit too much time actually playing it defensive, it felt like. So we'll see how this one goes. What rank? We don't know yet. 
I have to guess the rank at the end of this because this is a where are they now. They were previously silver two in the where are they in their first ever spectator we did it. So I have a general idea, but I, I could be completely off in this guess. I could be completely off. Yeah, you can start kind of getting your guesses in there. I mean, I, like I said, I think good denial on high ground here, much better. This, guy, this has to be silver too? I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's silver anymore. I, 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 I very much could be wrong, but I feel like mechanically, I, I, I would at least definitely see them in gold right now. But like, I, I, I wouldn't even doubt it if you could like sneak in with like a plat five here or something. I'm not even kidding you. And I know that's like aiming high, but I, I actually think there's, a, there's a chance they have climbed even more than that because mechanically, what I'm seeing like isn't isn't bad at all. I, 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 I like they've had moments, but like. I'll probably lean more towards gold, but like, I don't be surprised to see flat. We'll see though. Not a bad ult. Did I use your bubbles? A little bit. Ah, you held in your ult too long. In that situation, you need to recognize how low they are. Like, sometimes I do that too on Arissa, where like, I overhold my Arissa ult. I, it just, at a certain point, remember the percentage that you see is the damage you're going to do on top of the AoE damage you So, you had an opportunity there to make it flat. Nice aggression there on the, on the javelin spin. I mean, on the, um, on the javelin. That wasn't bad. The Moira also was just a good play by the Moira, not a bad play by you to dive their, their back line. I'm okay with that one. Oh, they lost that one? They just, their Moira made a good play. Sometimes the other team just makes a good play. Out of position. I want you to think about your positioning right now. You're... you're, you're I mean, ah, that's a tough one. Let me. I gotta see something on the kill feed. Let me see. No, you would have won that. I was gonna see if I wanted to play the music or not, but honestly, chat like it, it, they would have won that. There was this. Was, look at look at everything here. It was over. Bob's off point. They're already pushing around the corner. Like the game's over at that point. We have to use the music correctly, and that wouldn't have been correct. I mean, good job winning. I will say mechanically, definitely an improvement. You definitely need to work on like how you play D.Va again. Sorry, for sure you did mention that. And that's just playing distance, counting bubbles. Um, play corners a little bit more. Position was okay, but not great. So a little bit more of like using corners. Cooldown usage was actually a little bit underutilized at times. Um, like when, you're, when your team didn't get the point to go 6-4, I actually think you, you think the position was fine. Right here, no. Nope, nope. It, and I'm going to show you why. The cover you have, yes, there's cover, but, like, the follow-up from your teammates and the angles your teammates can help you from require them to overextend. So, like, if your teammates want to play from here, you see how much more difficult it is to actually get that, like, angle. It requires everybody to have to kind of take these type of angles to be able to help you. So some things look advantageous to the tank, and I actually, I've learned this with, with when I was, like, even playing in OWCS. Like, while you're getting a full benefit, you also need to remember that your teammates need to have that same benefit, and if your teammates don't have that benefit then, like, they have to make plays that are not advantageous for them, which is why I was, I was not a fan of going here. When you have a safe spot like here, you have a health pack, you have this angle. Um, all worked out either way, so it's all hindsight, but that's why I didn't like this angle as much, because your teammates have too much they have to do to even get to you. And if you even, like, go this way once, your teammate can't heal you, etc. So that's why this is a little bit better. So, yes, yeah, so uh, we can go to that one, too. So it doesn't make a crossfire where the other team has to be exposed to push, which is fair, but, like, I don't think Arissa should be the one taking the angle here. Does that make sense? Like, if you wanted to come here as, like, a Hanzo and take the angle while your Arissa's going at this angle, and, like, kind of, like, this is different, right? But, like, if you go here as Arissa, you're going to take so much damage that you can kind of get rolled, right? So it's, like, it's not bad if you want to take this angle as, like, a Sojourn, because you have, you can, you can back away, like, you can work with your team. But as a tank, like, you're, you're asking for too many resources there. Does that make sense? So it's not bad. It's just, like, I wouldn't suggest it all the time. Because this could go easily the other way, because your teammates have to overextend to help you. But now goes to the next part. This is, this is, the, this is the fun part. When we first watched them months ago, they were silver too. We gave them the advice. They didn't overextend as much. They had a couple moments that were a bit overextendy, but like that definitely improved. Now here's the question. Did they climb? And where do I think they are ranked now? I, w I actually believe based off of the mechanics I saw, all right, that they, they are definitely out of silver. Now, if they aren't out of silver, I still think you've improved regardless. But I, I want to say I'm going to put them, and I, I'm gonna, I might be generous with this. I'm going to put them in like gold two. 
Now, don't be surprised to see if they're like plat five or like gold five, et cetera. But I, I think I, 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 I'm going to go with a, a gold two, which is a little bit, seems to be a little bit more aggressive than uh, where the rest of chat's at with like gold five, et cetera. But I think gold two is a good spot on your way to plat. You said their aim was so bad. Though, honestly, I don't think their aim was that bad. Am I, was I not seeing that correctly? I thought their aim wasn't that that awful. I saw a lot of really good moments. Like, the aim isn't going to be perfect, but, like, it wasn't like they were, like, missing shots by, like, 100%. Anyway, their new rank is... They are gold three. So, climbed all the way from silver two, all the way to gold three. That's good. That, that, is, progr that, is, that is good progress. That, that is a good job. Like, nice. That's what we like to see. And like I said, like... You're on your way to plat, still a bit to go, but like that was good. I, I, I felt like there was definitely obvious improvement, and I, I think that like from the first one that we watched to now is, is definitely a, a lot better. So keep learning from the things that we mentioned, and next thing you know, maybe in another year or six months when you do another Where Are They Now, maybe it's plat, maybe it's diamond, who knows? If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to all three YouTubes if you haven't, leave a comment, all of that helps. If you want to submit your own spectator, look in the description below. You'll see my Discord. We record these live on stream. You can see the Twitch chat right below the webcam. We have a lot of fun here, so stop by if you haven't. With that being said, hope you have an amazing day slash night.